Hello, this video is about pooled storage. Uh, this is relevant for companies uh, using Google Workspace Business Starter subscription because uh, Google started implementing uh, pooled storage for them uh, from May 12, 2023. And uh, quite slowly, but uh, step by step, uh, Google moved clients uh, to pool storage. Uh, so what is pool storage and uh, how to use it? Uh, let's go to Google Workspace Admin Console. Uh, by uh, going store storage section, you will see uh, a total uh, disk space of the company. It depends on number of users and uh, subscription. For example, I have 12 uh, enterprise users. Uh, this is uh, 5 uh, terabytes uh, for each of them. At 12 times uh, 5 uh, is uh, 60 terabytes uh, uh, of the total disk space uh, for the company. Uh, previously, Google Workspace Business Starter user had users uh, had limit uh, 30 gigabytes. Uh, after switching to pool storage, there is no such limitation. Uh, by default, uh, uh, users uh, have no individual storage limits. And uh, Google Workspace Administrator can set uh, this limit for users. Uh, here is one example uh, uh, how to configure pool storage limits. Uh, we've add uh, default limit uh, 30 gigabytes uh, for users. Uh, also we've created uh, security groups and uh, added uh, appropriate users uh, to them uh, as you see and uh, after that uh, we've set uh, limit for each uh, of these groups uh, as you see a uh, uh, group with name storage limit one terabyte uh, has limit uh, one terabyte uh, so finally, we have uh, default limit uh, 30 terabyte, uh, 30 gigabytes uh, for users, uh, and uh, user in uh, users in group uh, have uh, different limit.